first thing we're going to look at is creating a static border using cropping. This is perhaps the easiest way of creating borders in DaVinci Resolve. As you can see in this sample clip, all we are going to do is go to Inspector, and then under Cropping, we just need to adjust Crop Right and Crop Left to the desired point. And then you have it. You will have a static left and border throughout the whole clip. Now to do a top and bottom border, we'll go to Crop Top and go to Bottom, and then do the same thing, and then you have it. You will have a static top and bottom border throughout the entire clip. Just like that, very simple. All right, next we're gonna look at creating dynamic borders using cropping. And a key concept to understand here is keyframing. And the way to understand keyframing is at what point of the video do you want the effect to do what? So now we come to Inspector, do the same thing, go to cropping, but instead we're gonna set a keyframe. Bring up the curve. This makes it very easy to work with. And then we'll need to adjust the keyframe to the beginning of the video and then set it to a point where you want the border to begin. And then we come to the end of the video, set another keyframe, and then bring it to the point where you want the border to end. Then we're gonna do the same thing for crop right, set up a keyframe, bring the keyframe to the beginning of the video, and then we're gonna come to the end of the video, set up another keyframe, and then bring it to a point where you want the border to end. And now, as you can see, that we have a dynamically moving left and right border. Now, we're gonna do the same thing for top and bottom. And we'll come to crop top, set up a keyframe, bring it to the beginning, and adjust it to a point where you want the border to begin. Come to the end of the video, set up a keyframe, and adjust it to a point where you want the border to end. And then we'll replicate the same thing for crop bottom, set up a keyframe, adjust it for the beginning of the video, and then go to the end of the video, set up the, another keyframe, and adjust it accordingly. And now, as you can see, we have a dynamically moving top and the bottom border. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is to create a static border, but using solid color instead. The first thing we're going to do is go to generators on the left-hand side, bring solid color on top of the existing clip, and then make sure that it covers the entire clip as well. Go to inspector and start cropping left and right like we did before. But you will notice right away the borders don't look quite right. The reason is because we're actually not cropping the, the video clip, we're actually cropping the solid color layer. So we have to crop out majority of it in order to have that border effect. Then we're gonna bring another solid color on top and we're gonna start cropping out majority of it, but for the other side. And now we're gonna have that left and right border um, that we had before. So now we're gonna reset both and we're gonna do the same thing for top and bottom. Uh, now, just have the only thing to keep in mind, guys, is to make sure that you crop out majority of it, and then you're gonna get that top and bottom border that you saw earlier. The beauty about this method is that you can change the color so that this will give you a slightly different artistic feel, and also it gives you uh, more flexibility as well. Okay, lastly, we're gonna create dynamic border but using solid color instead. And the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna locate generators on the left-hand side and then select solid color, bring into timeline, and then layer on top of the existing clip. And then let's come to inspector and let's locate cropping. But the first thing we're gonna do is actually we're gonna select keyframe and then let's do that and then let's bring up the curve and let's make sure that the keyframe is at the beginning of the video. And then let's adjust it to the desired starting point for our border. And then let's come to the other side and then uh, select another keyframe and we will set it to the desired ending point for our border. So now you have a dynamically moving border that moves, that disappears as the uh, video uh, clip plays. Okay, so now let's close this and let's work on the other side. Let's bring another solid color into the timeline, layer on top of the existing clip. Let's make sure that it covers the entire clip. And then we will locate cropping. And by the first thing we're gonna do is just select the keyframe, bring up the curve, and let's make sure that the keyframe is at the beginning of the video. We'll set it to the desired starting point for our uh, left-hand side border. And then let's come to the other side and let's select another keyframe and let's set it to the desired ending point for our border. So now when we clip the, play the entire clip, you will see that we have a dynamically moving left and right border that disappears 
as the video uh, uh, video plays. Now, the beauty about this approach is that we can change out the color for the borders, and then this gives you more flexibility, gives you more control as an artist uh, when it comes to creating borders. So it also gives you a different uh, artistic feel. And uh, so now when we do that, you will see that you have a dynamically moving left and right border that are white.